Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. In the last episode we made this elevator and we're picking up almost from where we left off. I just finished a couple of things. For example, I forgot to finish this bit so there was just basically a big hole into the underneath of the floor. So I fixed that and that is now working. Nope, I'm not going up, not yet. And also I finished this or I made this look a little bit nicer. And then I plan for what we're going to do today, because today we're actually going to use the bridge that we made a couple of episodes ago. I think not last episode, but last last episode. Today we're going to be making a animal farm because I have a lot of stuff I want to do. For example, I want to enchant this diamond armor. Guess what? I need levels, but that's that's another thing. I need more bookshelves, so I need more levels. I want to make a map room wall thing. Guess what? I need leather for item frames. So we need a lot of leather. So I thought that the best thing would, to do was to make a, well, a farm so we can breed some cows. Because that is my biggest problem at the moment. So let me just grab some potatoes. And yeah, so today we're going to be building that. We're going to be needing some more resources. We're going to be needing a, a not too much gold. We're going to be needing some iron. And what? Let me just bring some more just in case. Just in case we need it. And there we go. What the, there we go. Perfect. We are also going to need some redstone. I'm going to take a stack just to be on the safe side. And I think that is everything that we're going to need. Okay, I think I got everything here with me. The stone we're going to use to make some pressure plates. So you know what? We don't need a stack of that. The reason why we have this rail is basically because we're going to be using the bridge and make the animal farm at the other side of the bridge. But I don't really want to walk all the way back and forth when I need to just visit my cows if I'm just going to to uh, to explore in that direction, for example, fine. But if we're, if, if we're doing farming and stuff, it's going to be nice with a minecart. So we're going to make a little bit of a rail system going all the way over here and park right at the end of the bridge. But first, I just want to point out that uh, we need more lighting over here in this area. Because today when I came up from our new elevator, there was a creeper right here. So let's add some torches like that. Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah, that uh There we go. That's 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 better. <laughs> yeah, that's um we we don't want mobs spawning in here, let me just say it like that. Okay, so let us, I guess, get started right away with the stations. So that's going to be very simple. I just want a little bit of a, maybe, I don't know, three by four platform out. So one, two, three, and four. I think that should be fine because the minecart comes in and then er, parks right up here against a bumper. There we go. And put some power rails on here. Yep, that should that should be perfect. And then maybe just we're going to need this and then a button right there. But that's going to be perfect. Then we will redirect some rails going this way. It will be power for quite a bit right until we get around here. So what I'm going to do, we need powered rails. If you didn't know, minecarts get powered by powered rails, which is what makes them drive and go. Um, now, normally I could just put a wrestle torch next, next to this or a lever or an entire wrestle block underneath it. But because it's a bridge and we are working right at the edge and wrestle blocks just won't look nice in general, I'm going to use detector rails, which the detector rails basically work the way that it detects when a minecart steps on it, just like a normal pressure plate detects when a player steps on it. So let me just show you. Place a minecart. And it lights up and deactivates. So I'm basically going to be using that method. And yeah, it's it's not that expensive. It is it uses less less redstone. So let's just pack our minecart here because we'll need the inventory space. So and because the minecart is going to go back and forth the same way, we need one on each side, of course. Um, I already did this wrong actually. Let me just get these back there, 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 and then. I think we can put the next one here. So two of these in between. It can probably go further, to be honest. But you know what? It's fine. And then another one. No. Another one over here. And then we'll need another one over here. And then one right before we go up 
this there. So let us just make some. Hopefully, I remember actually how to make these because I currently don't remember, but hopefully, I will. I know it's gold like this, probably redstone, and then stick. Yep, there we go. That, that was easy. Um, I actually don't think we're going to need more than that. Then we will need this. Probably going to need two of those. That. That. Actually, I think it's just red, so I don't even think we need the sticks. Uh, what do we. Aha! Found it! <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I got wrong, but you know what? I got something wrong. So. There we go, that's how you make them. Boom, there we go. Hopefully that is not too many. And you know what, we're gonna need a bunch of normal rails as well. So let us just do that. They're not that expensive to be honest. They do take some iron, but we, we have a lot. You know what, let's just make some more. I have plenty of iron, I'm not too worried. And if I run out, well, that's just an hour of mining or so, and we should be hopefully back up and running. So we're just going to place all of these down like so. And let's see, one, two, and then another one right here. Boom, 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 and continue all the way over here. Then we're going to need the axe and remove these. And replace them with actual blocks. Because then we're going to need to... Remove this, place this, place this, and then add this, and go up. And we're probably going to need another one here. I'm thinking. Also, we should sleep, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, I think we might need to do this. There we go. Uh, You know what? That kind of looks stupid. <laughs> Let's get rid of this put it here and put that here and that should be enough to get us up here all the way over here and you know what this actually I think this lines up perfectly with the other one so let us just do that and then two blocks like so and let's just get some stone buttons because why not boom nope and just get rid of those and boom there we go and basically then we will just have the cow farm over here just because it's grass and this is not we want grass so it will be over there I think that's it I think that is the minecart system. Now I know this is not that pretty, but it's not it's not the worst. We could move it in one. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks a lot better. A lot nicer, that does. Okay, cool. And we got a skeleton over there. Awesome. Let's head back and let's really quickly test out the system. Or actually, should I sleep first? I probably should. Let me sleep. Okay. Put button, sleep, and then I'll be right back. Also, that skeleton is way too close for comfort. All right, I guess it is now time to test it now before we do. Yep, that works. Okay, cool. So let us just jump in and... Okay, we actually have to press forward. Oh dear, that's that's loud. Hold, hold on. It's just, uh, oh. I have no idea. It should have its separate thing. Okay, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> it's not that loud. Just a little bit. Okay, it barely makes it up that. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a redstone torch here, put a block, that redstone torch now, pow now powers that. And I'm now going to put powder rail here and here. And then we can remove this, put this here, and I would like there to be one powder rail there. But I think this should be fine. We don't need this anymore, just need a normal rail. Let me just see. So let's just get that. Let's just test the trouble over here. Just go forward. There we go. Yep, that's that's fine. Okay, that's just skeleton. Oh, well, there's a hole here. Cool. Okay, that is that. Um, yes, that works. I'm happy about that. Now, just gotta extend this path a little bit. So we can actually do some stuff here. Okay. So I think I want the thing to start right over here. And so if we have a path moving in and then starting it right here. So like put the the gates right here. And we just need to cover up this bit. Ow. Come 
my mind. Thank you. Uh, bone. I, I could I, I could use that. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I might just dig a little bit of this out so I can get the dirt I need. Because I do need it. And we'll cover this hole up. Then we basically just need to cut down some trees and make up a bunch of fences and well that should be pretty much it. Now I don't know how big I should make this. I'm thinking like here. So that's one, two, three and four. So one, two, three and four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So move it down ten or twelve. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like this. For now, anyway. Wait, that's not right, is it? Hold on. Nope. This right here. Yeah. That could work. You know what? Let's just move it down 14. There we go. 14. Moving it down 14. It's not the biggest place, but it will be fine once we get the fences up. We'll add a little bit of water in there and some hay and cool stuff. And we can we just want something temporary right now. Then I can always make it look better. Okay, so I have some fence to 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 start with. So I'm just going to mark the corners here like this and like that. Put some torches up on it right away, like this, like this, like this. And this will then be the fence gates. So do this, put this here, and then down here we can then mark the corners. Do that, do that, torch so I don't forget, right here, and torch so I don't forget. And then fence all the way down. I'm thinking we could add a little bit of water area over here. So like if we dig out like maybe, I don't know, Something like this to put some water in it. I think that would be nice. We we'll just dig this out and then replace that with with dirt, so like they have a little bit of water place. Maybe not coast it, or hmm. maybe it kind of looks like wet dirt. I don't know, or extra dry. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, that could work. Then maybe some hay over here. I'm thinking maybe over here to like sleep on and stuff. Like that. Uh, I have plenty of hay, so we should be able to do that. I just need a bit more fence, so give me a moment and I should be ready. Okay, I have returned with stuff. One of them being more water to do this bit. There we go. Cool. Now we just need to get some wheat. And as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Now let's just get these in randomly, I think like that and I need one, two, three, four, five more. But yes, I am a terrible builder, but I do think I have a tiny idea of what to do for this. Um, let me just add that. No, I don't like that. There, that, and that. Yeah, cool. Um, and that is to make like a little feeding area over here. So like dig these out and then Ow. And then, hey, and then add composters as the feeding trough thing. And I apparently remember this recipe very wrong. And there we go, four, finally. So if we place like one, two, three, and then maybe a fourth over here, like so. Okay, no, 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 no. Only one, only one. There we go. There we go. And then we fill them with seed, not to the top, but kind of like this. And it looks like they have food. And then maybe we can, I don't know what to do with the last one. We'll just save it for another project. Now for here, we could make a little tiny, 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 tiny place to stay if it rains, but yet, not really much rain here, so I'd rather make a giant tree. But I think I think this is a complete project. I think it is good. I might want a few more hay bales in here just 
for the fun of it, so maybe like five more, like this. Maybe add some over here stacked, like that. Maybe one in the corner here. Yeah, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, so now that is done. It is ready for the cows to arrive. Now, probably the main question, where to get cows. This could be interesting. I searched in that direction and that just leaves, leads to ocean all the way there, mesa all the way through, mesa all that, and um, I'm pretty sure it actually is only mesa that way. But I do think I recall cows in the swamp area, so we might be able to draw some from there up here with the wheat. Now all I need is two, then I will be able to go on from there, but if we could get like three or so, that would be nice. Though the problem will be getting them up this huge thing, which is to, which is honestly going to be a nightmare. But we'll see if it's not doable or not. All time lapse that is, if it doesn't take a hundred years, most likely will. But um, yeah, I just want to see if there's any cows over here. I might there might be some over there at the roofed forest, but that's a bit too long. Now I do see pigs, and I see a fall that I just fell in. I'm gonna try and locate some cows, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, finally. Oh dear, that's not good. Cows, I have been going for so long trying to find these things and finally I went, okay, I'm not that far away, but I am a little bit away and it might be a nightmare to get these guys back because it's a long way across a little bit of water. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, I'm gonna try and get as many of these as possible. Now I most likely will lose one or two. So I definitely want to get as many together as possible. So I want to start all the way over here. As you can see, we are actually... Oh, spruce wood. I might want that. But anyways, not right now. Right now I want you around that cave. All the way over here. Catch the attention of... Oh, we might get... You know what? We might get some sheep as well. Because why not? Okay, three cows. I'm not really after the sheep, but I mean, I'll take what I can get my hands on. Now this is the part where things get a little bit interesting. Because I don't want to lose these guys. For me, the cows are my highest priority. Um, and I do not want to lose those. And this is a lot of sheep. I might have to um, get rid of some of them. Because right now they're just taking up space. But anyways, I will try and make this into a time-lapse thing. And we'll see. Oh, there's one more cow over there. This is a lot of sheep. Um, but yeah, I'll make a time-lapse of this and see how far I can get. Hopefully not losing any of them. So, have fun. <laughs>
Ooh. And done. Nope, nope, nope. I re did realize this after reevaluating my plans here, and this is not gonna work. Okay. Give me this back. Okay. Get down from there, you cow. Get down. Thank you. Okay, I will just have to place it over here then. Like, no, that won't work either. Um. I'll just have to keep one, I guess. Just do that. And then maybe do that. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And now they're all over there in the water. Awesome. Who wants wheat? <laughs> that was a terrible journey. As in, a very terrible journey. Okay, that was that mission. Successful, I think. We got... Oh dear, that was... A, that was chaos. <laughs> but yep, they're now all taken apart. That's cool. Um, yeah. That's... That was an interesting journey, I must say that. Now, last few modifications I want to add to this is because when you press this button it doesn't it doesn't start automatically which I kind of wanted to do so I'm gonna just real quickly put an innovation to that and then do that and boom and then remove this and add this and that there we go and that should if it starts on this actually that reminds me um, put it like that okay cool uh, yeah, then I need a normal rail there. I shouldn't have put them away just yet. And there... Oh. Hold on. So just do this, do that, and that, and boom. Now we get in, press the button, it goes automatically. Cool. Just done. Now I did want to add one little detail, which was one lily pad, like that. Now don't... just don't drown. <laughs> okay. I'll leave those guys to it. I might add some more hay here and there. I don't know. That's gonna be it for today, I think. One final detail, though, that I do want to add around here is give me. If this is possible, yes. Now everything's perfect. <laughs> okay, yep. That was the animal farm done. Finally, now I can get to making more bookshelves so we can enchant this diamond armor and go ahead and attack that ocean monument. Am I going to make a guardian farm? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how how big of a project it is and how big of a project I want to do. We might, we might not, but it does give you quite a lot of levels, so we might work on that. But anyways, I'm gonna... I'm gonna think about that. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet and enable those notifications. Also share it with your friend, of course. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server, link down below. Follow me on Twitch as well for other streams other than Minecraft. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. But but what if I want to take a nap? That's uh, fine. Good. Guess I'll do more work. Meh. Nah.